Here we go then. Heat number four. Tapes are up. What a stop oh, from Smarslik. Absolute masterclass from him. He fires himself Vashilik. to the front. Vasilik's working hard. Right outside. Neck and neck down the back straight. Oh, he's having to hold firm now, Smarslik. He's forcing himself wide. Vasilik's coming at him again. Oh. Fantastic lap of speedway. Oh, cracking stuff. I tell you what, Martin Vasilik is winding it on. Oh, maybe a bit wide. Now he's still got that speed. Oh, oh. has to straighten it up as he almost heads for the fence. I tell you what, Bartosz Smarslik had to work so hard on that opening lap just to keep uh, Martin Vasilik out wide and push him a little bit further than he really wanted to go. But uh, race settling down now. Bartosz Smarslik had a lot of pressure early doors there. Just beginning to pull away. Former teammates, of course, in the extra league are in Gorzhov. But when it's down to the World Championship, you've got to be ruthless. And Bartosz Smarslik was there in heat number four. He's away. Hukenbeck's back in third. With uh, Ty Wolfenden out of the points. But uh, the championship leader starts in fine style. And we're roaring into the first corner, and it's Freddie Ling when he makes it the world number two, but he's run too wide. And look at that from Smarslik. Wow, where did it come from? Textbook stuff from the world champion. Just carved the opposition up, coming out of turn number two in the opening lap. Fabulous move from him. He's loving it in the Marquetta tonight. That's a uh, Bartosz Smarslik had that move weighed up before he even dropped the clutch for this race. He knew exactly <laughs> what he was going to do in the first turn. He'd already been watching the previous races, figured that run around the outside probably wasn't going to make it work, and he knew where to ride. Just rode through that gap, lingering, possibly opening it up a little bit too much. I thought actually down the back straight in the opening that the Lebedevs would have got past Lingren, but uh, Freddie, as we know, battling away. Freddie battling hard, he's not out of it. He's there lurking in second place. Masterclass initially from Bartosz Schmarslik with Freddie working overtime in second place. Lebedevs having to work hard to hang on to third. But this man is going to make it three out of three. Unbeaten so far. Three appearances with three wins from the qualifiers is in the semi-finals already. Up we go, and what a start from Frick. Tight into the first corner, Holder's giving him a shove and he's gone wide. It's worked a treat. Here comes Frick again. Oh, Frick's it's a miracle to get back round the out of Jack Holder. Oh, that is very impressive indeed from Max Frick. Smarzik's not out of it. Look at him diving to the inside. Yeah, he's definitely not out of it. Oh, oh, that's a big move on the inside there. And he takes Jack Holder out. But I tell you what, the Australian team riding on that first lap has kept Smarzik at bay. Look at that. Jack Holder almost running into the back wheel of Max Frick. But Max worked overtime on the first lap to get himself in front. What an opening lap of speedway it was between the two Australians and throw the world champion in there for good measure, who very nearly came a cropper there as they enter lap number two. We're into the final lap now. Max Frick on his return to the Grand Prix. This is dreamland stuff for Max Frick. Really is an impressive performance indeed. Holder coming on strong. Can he get around the outside on the run to the line? Frick's got it covered. Brilliant stuff from the Australian. In love with it once again. Here we go. What a start from Lebedev's out of gate two. Fabulous stuff from him. He's been going terrific all night long. Kubera coming around the outside of Madsen. He comes through into second place. But I tell you what, Andre Lebedev's enjoying his best Grand Prix so far. Tied out in front though with Kubera coming on strong. Oh, cracking ride for Kubera. His team would have told him, look, you're going to have to win if you want to guarantee yourself a spot in the semi-finals, and he's just roared past Lebedev's, who made a super start from gate two. Oh, now oh. look at that. Oh. Lebedev's nearly ridden into by Madsen. Madsen's not going to qualify with these points. Even a second place won't do him. Madsen round the outside, getting a fist, face full of dirt there, finds his way past Andre Lebedev's. Now, Lebedev started so strongly here, but has, fail, has failed to maintain that pace and has slipped out of it. Kubera, though, this is absolute manner from heaven from him. One out of gate number three. That was a surprise. Brilliant effort from uh, him in heat number 17. He's out of the last corner. He's loving life. Made the final two weeks ago. Oh! Movement really 
untidy on the start there. I think Lambert maybe Lambert moved was the first, to go. first one, but then disaster for Lebedev. He's gone straight in, but did Martin Vasilik touch the tape? Clearly, movement from Robert Lambert. Yeah, there's there. the first one. But who touches the tapes first? Well, I, I would suggest Lebedev's from gate three, but it's very, very close. Oh, it's close. Oh. We're hearing it now, and Lebedev's is out. Martin Vasilik survives. Number one, just three of them. Tapes are up. Martin Vasilik, what a start from him. Sensational bike through the first corner. Kubera around the outside of Lambert. What a move from the Polish man. He's going great guns in second place. But that man out in front, Martin Vasilik, only dropped a point coming into the semi-finals. Superb out of gate number two. Now Martin Vasilik launched off the start. Yeah, again, Kubera actually had to be conservative down the back straight on the first lap. Put the brakes on at the end of the straight. He'd generated a lot of speed, but the race settling down now. I tell you what, Lambert's the biggest loser here because he could have really moved himself uh, within a few points of Smarzlik. Indeed, and inexplicably, Lambert is off the pace, having shown great pace throughout the evenings. He's tailed off in third place. He's going to miss out on the final here this evening. Martin Vasilik and Kubera looking good. Less than a lap to go for these two. Kubera's looking good in second place. He's cruising. He's cruising in second place. But for Martin Vasilik, this is going to be win number five on the evening. Through to the final again, looking for a hat trick to win in the Marquetta Stadium. Here we go, the Marquetta packed to the rafters. Here we go, second semi-final. Tapes up, we're away. Look at that from Smarzik. That bike's just dug in. Clutch controlled, absolutely sensational. Oh, he hits the front. Lingren roaring around the outside. Now Mickelson comes underneath Frick. Frick has been relegated to the back, and that's a surprise. But Smarzlik and Lingren, one and two from last year's World Championship. Going for the final in the Marquetta. Fantastic stuff from Smarzlik, but Freddie Lindgren's quicker. We've said it for the last couple of rounds. Smarzlik, when he's in front, is not as quick as we perhaps we've seen him in the past. But uh, Lindgren, difficult job in these semi-finals. If you're in second place, you've got to be a bit conservative and make sure you don't go backwards. But he's certainly carrying plenty of speed. Indeed he is. Smarzlik having to work hard there to resist the charge of Freddie Lindgren. Lindgren just seemed to have more speed. You're right. Closing in once again. We're into the last lap. Mickelson trying awfully hard in third place. Smarzlik now, will he come under pressure on this last lap? Tell you what, Smarzlik not completely comfortable out in front after a sensational start. But he's in the final. He wins semi-final number two. Lindgren back to form. He makes another final here in the Marquetta. Tapes up, and we're away. Martin Vasilik's made a smashing start. Yes, he's got there. But Barton Smarzlik's in traffic. He's trying to get up the inside. It's tight. He's it. Oh, he's got himself into second place. He had to hustle that. Kubera didn't want to get out of the way, but Barton Smarzlik was desperate to get there. But Martin Vasilik. Can he make it a hat-trick? Uh, he's riding superbly. He certainly deserves it. Lingren now putting Smarzik under pressure. We've said all night, Smarzik not really fast on the bike tonight, but I'll tell you what, Martin Vasilik looking every bit the winner there. Bike working for Smarzik, just doesn't have the pace that Martin Vasilik's got out front. Freddie Lingren looking very threatening, coming round the outside of Bartos Smarzik. Oh, he's done him down the back straight. What a moment for Freddie Lingren. As you rightly say, Smarzlik hasn't got the speed. He's relegated back to third place, but out in front. This is going to be extra special now. Martin Vasilik, oh, it's tied for second and third. <laughs> but Martin Vasilik, through the final corner, a hat-trick of wins in the Marquetta. He's going to be absolutely overjoyed with that. What a performance in the last three years here for Martin Vasilik. Back to top form. He won here last year. He won in the Principality as well in Cardiff. And Martin Vasilik wins in 2024 in the Marquetta Stadium. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Fully deserved. Definitely the quickest rider throughout the entire evening. He really has deserved his victory tonight. Martin Vasilik wins the final. He's won here for the last three years. Unbelievable stuff. Superb. Freddie Lingren, what a strong ride from him. Bartosz Smarzlik slipping back into third place.